Welcome guys, my name is Ricard and today I'm going to show you how to export an Excel file from your project. So don't leave and learn Mendix with me. Ok, so let's start by downloading the Excel export module from the marketplace. So if you don't have access to the marketplace menu, so you can go to the view and click in marketplace. It should open a new tab. And now you can go to the search input and search for Excel. Excel exporter. And then click in download. Now it should open a new window where you can import the module. You have two different actions. So one to add a new module and then to replace uh, existing module. In our case, we want to add as a new module. We can import new and wait a few seconds. Mm -hmm. Click OK and it's done. So we can close the marketplace tab. Now we can go to navigation and let's add a new page to the navigation. So click in new item or sub item if you already have one menu here so in my case i'm going to use sub item on click let's select show a page go to the marketplace modules xl report use me and then select excel document overview for the caption we can just write excel order and we can also select an icon export click ok we can also create a new module where we are going to have all the entities and microflows to the export so let's add a new module called excel export we can also create module rule so new i'm going to just create an admin click ok and then we can go to the security of the project user rules administrator and here we can just edit the module rules first we can select the excel export module and then uh, admin rule and then go to the marketplace modules x ls report click on it and configurator okay now we can go to the domain model and create a new entity so we can call it excel document and it should be a generalization of the file document. We don't need to have any attributes here. So just click OK. We can double click again and just give the access rules now. So access rules, new, select the administrator. We need to allow creating new objects and also to delete. We can set all the attributes to read and write and click OK. Now let's create the entity that we want to export. So I already have one. I want to export this project entity, so all the objects. So I'm just going to copy going to the main model and paste it. Now let's create an, an association. So we want to have one Excel document to many projects. So let's change the name of the entity. So project export. And also change the access rules. So this is all the rules from the previous module. So let's delete everything. 
and create a new one just with admin and give access to read and write to all attributes and also create and delete. Regarding the association, let's change the on delete of Excel document object value. So let's select delete project export object as well. And now we can create some folders just to organize the project. So one for the Excel document and another one to the project export. Inside the project export, we can also create microflows and one more just for the ACT microflow. Inside the ACT folder, we are going to create a new microflow called ACT. And then we use the, the entity name, so project exports um, and the, the action that is going to to do so export list click ok and here we are going to, to go to the toolbox and select retrieve double click on it from database and Search for MX, right? In options, range, just select first. And XPath, we just want to make sure uh, that is coming the template that have the name equal to projects. Can change this name is not mandatory to have exactly the project's name so you can choose whatever you want here click ok and now let's add a decision just to check if we have the mx template so dollar sign template let's check if it's different of empty and just Copy and paste it in caption. Okay. But to the right side, let's select true. And to below, let's add another element and event. And here, we can also go a message. Template not available. Click OK. To the right side, we can go to, again to the toolbox, create a new object. So select Excel document, and in new, we should select delete after download and set the value as true. Click OK and OK again. We also need to create a new list. So to export every project, we can create project export list. And now let's retrieve all the projects from the tutorial app module. So double click from database, entity. Select the tutorial app uh, and then project. Options range all because we want to retrieve all projects and uh, we can just keep this name project list. Now let's do a loop here in loop type, select for each, iterate over project list and inside the loop let's create a new object entity 
could be project exports clicking new select the, the association and here we are going to use the new excel document object and for the other attributes we need build information with the iterator object so in my case it's iterator project and now i'm going to select the different attributes so for the name i'm going to use name and i need to to do this for all attributes Okay, so all attributes are with the information with some value so click ok and let's add a change list so to add this new object to the list that we created before so let's add it to the list and here select the project export list type add and then we are going to select the object we just create so new project export click ok and we are going to commit the list so commit object double click object or list and we are going to select the project export list now we can use one microflow that is available on the marketplace module so if you go to the marketplace modules and search for use me generate report you can see that we have already one a microflow with uh, all the java actions that we need to export the excel file we can just duplicate and move it for our module because we are going to need to do some modifications so excel document let's create just a, a few uh, folders to organize the project so excel document inside of it let's create microflows and inside microflows let's create one called sub Let's move the microflow to sub and let's rename the microflow. So this is going to be a sub Excel document generate report. In our case, we don't need the custom Excel object, so we can delete. And regarding the parameters, uh, we need a template and another one that is the Excel object. Let's double click on the Java action. Here we need to fill some inputs. So for the template object, we select template output document we can select the new custom uh, excel so no longer is this so we are going to select the parameter excel document and for the input object let's also select the excel document now let's check the permissions of the microflows so for this one and just uh, change the outward rules here we want just to check admin and also on the ACT select admin so to make it possible to, to export the projects I'm going to use a button in the overview so in my case I'm going to project overview and here I'm going to create a new button so call microflow and select 
the ACT microflow. So ACT project export, export list. We can change the caption. So export. Change the icon. And also change the style of the, the button. Click OK. So before we run the server, we need to add the sub microflow to the ACT. So just drag and drop inside the ACT microflow and double click on it and just fill the template with the MX template variable and just fill the Excel document with the new Excel document. Click OK. OK again. And let's run the server. We can click in view app. Username MX admin password one. Okay, so before you click the export button, you can go to administration, module reflection. So if you don't have it in your project, it's a dependency of the Excel exporter module. So download in the marketplace. And here we can select the Excel export module we just create and also Excel as report and click in refresh. Now you can go to Excel exporter. Click in new document type could be Excel 2007, file name projects, and input objects the Excel documents from the Excel export module. Save and next. Data time export format it's mandatory to fill, so let's select this one and worksheets. Let's create a new one. Projects as a name. Row object, let's select the project export. And you need to make sure that is the, the reference to template input object, it's filled with something like this. So your entity name and then association with the Excel document. Default text style, let's select default. Also for the header. And in column data, you can just add the column that you want to see. So it should always start with the column number zero. For the name, I'm going to write name, retrieve type, attributes, select attributes, should be in my case, also name. Click and save. Let's add one or two more columns. So column number one, we can just select for example, number of collaborator in save and just add one more so it can be the description. We can save, save again, go to the overview page. Here you can click in export, and as you can see, we already have here the file. So it should open the Excel. And here you can see all the columns that you prepare on the templates. And that's it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave the like and subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.